yes good morning students once again good morning for the recording peoples okay so good morning one and all so today we are going to discuss exercise 10.3 of the quadratic equations chapter so that exercise 10.3 is related to quadratic formula so here we are going to use the quadratic formula to solve exercise 10.3 so can we recall quadratic formula who is going to tell the quadratic formula yes akshay yes segre first name is akshay yes segre yes shri harsha raised the hand okay pannaga okay saumya segre everybody okay now kavya preeti yes we have to speak with preeti preeti let us give chance to preeti 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 hello preeti yes sir yes quadratic formula fatafat x is equal to minus b plus or minus uh, square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a very good x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so this is called as quadratic formula so using this formula we have worked out many problems right now example problems and all so today we are going to discuss the exercise exercise 10.3 so let us start exercise 10.3 first main is very simple so that's why i want to share the pages for you so second main if you have any confusion regarding this problem then that type of problems will work out on the board is that clear okay so now let us concentrate on exercise 10.3 so you have finished your homework part no okay so you have finished homework part i think i don't know actually how many of you finished or not so okay let us see the answer part okay find first question find roots of the following quadratic equations okay find roots of the following quadratic equations so first equation is 2x square minus 7x plus 3 which is equal to 0 so this is one quadratic equation we have to find the roots of the quadratic equation using quadratic formula so here they have not mentioned actually find the roots of the quadratic equation which method is comfortable that method you can choose okay but i think this formula method is very comfortable okay yes now a value is here first we have to list out a b c value a value is 2 b value is minus 7 and c value is 3 so write down the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a then substitution b place is minus 7 so in formula minus sign is there minus of minus 7 plus or minus square root of b square minus 7 whole square is directly we are writing it as 49 minus 4 into a value is 2 c value is 3 divided by 2 into a value is 2 2 twos are 4 okay now minus of minus in the sense plus 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus here 4 twos are 8 8 threes are 24 divided by 4 Next, seven plus or minus square root of forty nine minus twenty four is twenty five divided by four. Then seven plus or minus here root twenty five is five divided by four. Then we have to apply once plus sign then minus sign. First we will take plus sign. Seven plus five divided by four. Seven plus five is twelve by four. That is three. Or x is equal to seven minus five divided by four. That is seven minus five is two. 2 by 4 in the sense 1 by 2. So for the first question, roots are 3 comma 1 by 2. Got the idea of this problem, students? 3 comma 1 by 2 are the roots of the first quadratic equation. Next, second one. 2x square plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. 2x square plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. Here a value is 2, b value is plus 1, c value is minus 4. now quadratic formula you have to write so then minus as it is okay formula b value is plus 1 plus or minus b square is 1 square minus 4 into a into c substitution divided by 2 into 2 that is 4 next here minus 1 plus or minus 1 square is 1 only minus into minus plus 4 to the 8 Eight four is thirty two divided by four. Then minus one plus or minus 
32 plus 1 is 33 root 33 divided by 4 you can all observe you all observe that so root 33 we cannot remove the root sign no okay so roots are x is equal to minus 1 plus root 33 divided by 4 another one root is minus 1 minus root 33 divided by 4 okay this is the last final answer because further we cannot simplify because inside the root symbol 33 is there so this is the end of the problem got the idea here plus or minus is sign is there so once we have to take plus sign and another time we have to take the negative sign got the idea of the second question no students yes now let us move on to the third problem third equation is 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus 3 which is equal to 0 okay so now list out a b c value a is equal to 4 b is equal to 4 root 3 coefficient of x here b value is nothing but coefficient of x that is 4 root 3 and c value is plus 3 c value is plus 3 Then x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Just substitute the value. Minus sign as it is. B value is 4 root 3. So plus or minus square root of 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a value is 4. C value is 3 divided by 2 into a value is 4. 2 four is 8. Next step. Minus four root three as it is plus or minus here four root three whole square so you have to work out this one properly four root three whole square in the sense first you have to apply square for four 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 is a sixteen then root three whole square so square square would get cancelled then three is remaining so then sixteen into three that is forty eight okay so forty eight minus here four four is a sixteen. 16 threes are again. It is 48. Here we are observing that inside the root symbol, in place of b square minus 4ac, we are getting zero in the sense we will get the same roots. Now that day we discussed this topic. If we get b square minus 4ac is equal to zero, then we will get the same roots. Roots are repeating. Okay. So now 48 minus 48 divided by 8 here. Yeah. Minus four root three plus zero we got here. Square root of zero is zero only divided by eight. So the answer is here. Minus four root three divided by eight is remaining now. No need to take plus or minus because minus four root three plus zero is also minus four root three only. Minus four root three minus zero is also minus four root three only. So we have to take with this minus four root three divided by eight. Now four ones are four twos are so therefore minus root three divided by two is the answer. Only one root? No, we have to write two two roots. That is minus root three divided by two comma minus root three divided by two are the roots of the quadratic equation four x square plus four root three x plus three which is equal to zero. Got the idea now? So it may helpful for some one mark question or multiple choice question. And see here, b square minus 4ac. If b square minus 4ac place becomes zero, then we'll get the same roots. Got the idea of this concept? Okay. So third problem is over. Now fourth one. In the first main fourth problem. Okay. See here. Uh, here the, uh, she has written actually the last problem roots minus three by root three by two comma minus root three by two. Okay. So now fourth question we have to discuss. 2x square plus x plus 4, which is equal to zero. 2x square plus x plus 4 is equal to zero. A value is 2, b value is 1, c value is 4. Write the formula. Then b place 1 plus or minus b square is 1 minus 4 into a value is 2, c value is 4 divided by 2 into a value is 2. Next step, minus one plus or minus one minus here simplification four four is a sixteen sixteen two is a thirty two divided by four. Okay, so minus one plus or minus square root of minus thirty one. If 
square number inside the square if negative number comes no then you have to write the answer as no roots exists no real roots you have to write okay when you get the negative numbers inside the root sign you have to write the answer in the form of no roots exist now we will uh, discuss the difference between the first problem and the fourth problem so here 31 actually so we cannot remove 31 31 is not a perfect square number but if plus 31 is there then we can write the roots in the form of minus 1 plus root 31 by 4 then minus 1 minus root 31 by 4 that we can write the roots but here inside the root sign b square minus 4ac actually it is converted as minus 31 negative 9 uh, number so if negative sign is there then we have to take that no roots exist no roots for this equation Got the idea of this one? Now you just see the first page. First, sorry, not first problem. Actually, second problem. No, here you just see second problem. Square root of 33 plus 33 is there. That's why we can write the roots for this. X is equal to minus 1 minus root 33 by 4 minus 1 plus root 33 by 4. But in the last problem, fourth problem, so here negative number is there. So we cannot write roots. Okay. So that's why you have to write the reason as no roots. You have to write it as no roots. No roots exist. Okay. Got the idea of this problem students? Yes. Now, so we have to discuss the second main problem. So let us start the second main question. Find the roots of the quadratic equations. Find the roots of the quadratic equations given in question number one. Given in question number one above by applying the quadratic formula. Find the roots of the quadratic equations given in question number one above by applying for quadratic formula. Okay, so we are skipping this form uh, problems because we have worked out the first main in using quadratic formula only. Actually, in the textbook, the first main heading is find the roots of the following quadratic equations if they exist by the method of completing the square and the particular okay na but now completing the square method but the first main again now direct again maadi divi and thandre formula method and i use maad bitty divi so second question namge apply ago the second question the lane held tither and the nail good air on all of the equation and the quadratic formula the list solve maadi and held tither and now already First main and lay quadratic formula na use mod bit to solve mod bit to divi. Is that clear? So, how are we second main kuda mugdha gai? Next, we have to start with the third main. Okay, we have to start with the third main, but here I got the meeting warning. Okay, so meeting warning last five minutes. Let us do one thing, students. So, let us end this meeting, join with the same link for further 20 minutes, okay. For exactly 11.25, I have to leave the class. 11.25, I have to leave the class today, okay. So, uh, further 20 to 25 minutes, we'll continue the class. At least we'll discuss 4 to 5 problems, okay. So, join with the same link for further 20 minutes, okay. Now, I'm going to end this meeting, students.